hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in the last video we saw the demonstration of the two bus electric power network in this video we will study the four bus electric power network so this is my network having four bus bars the bus bar number one two three and four the loads are connected to bus bar number one two and three while the generating units are connected to bus number two three and four the bus number four is my slack bus also the different uh, system parameters are given as under load number one is uh, 50 megawatts and load number two is identical to load number one load number three is having uh, 150 megawatts and 50 megawatts the transmission lines are represented by t1 to t4 the parameters of transmission lines are as under so these are the different uh, lengths of transmission line that we are going to use in our uh, system so each generator is capable of generating 500 megawatts at 10 megawatts the nominal voltage is 138 kilovolt the capacity of each transmission line is 200 MVA and each bus is having a voltage of 1 plus J0 per unit. So uh, we will first of all we will study the network and also uh, we will observe the effect of adding capacitor at bus number 2. So let's go to the power word simulator to simulate the given task. So first of all, go to new case. Uh, since there are four uh, bus bars in our system, so first of all, uh, let's draw the four bus bars. First, uh, we will draw the bus number one. Uh, go to draw, select bus and in bus bar options select uh, right and rename it as bus number one so bus number one uh, after that click ok and this is our bus number one after that uh, we need to draw three more bus bars. So let's draw the bus number two. Go to network, select bus bar, and draw bus number two. Rename it as bus two. And the remaining information will be as by default. So this is my bus number two. Now uh, we need to draw two more bus bars. So again, bus number three, rename it as bus three. Click OK. Uh, then finally, bus number four. We have assumed that bus number four is our slack bus. So tick on uh, system slack bus click uh, before clicking ok rename it as bus number four so click ok now we need to add so after that uh, we need to add the loads uh, since there are uh, three loads load number one two and three uh, which have been uh, uh, added at bus number one two and three so we need to add three loads so go to network select load and click on bus number one the parameters of load number one are such that it is uh, 50 megawatt and zero megawatt so uh, select the parameters click ok uh, sorry we need to uh, change the orientation to up since the bus bar orientation is right so 
this is my load number one after load number one uh, you need to add load number two and three so load number two is again uh, 50 megawatt and zero megawatt so uh, write the input parameters click ok again the orientation must be up so these uh, are my two uh, loads now add load number three select load click on bus number three and change the orientation to up and then write the parameters which are uh, 150 megawatts and 50 megawatts so click ok this is my load number three now we need to add the generating units to the transmission system so as you can see that there are three generating units g1 g2 and g3 and in the statement uh, it is given that each uh, generating units uh, is generating uh, 500 megawatts and 10 megawatt uh, active and reactive power so we need to uh, provide three generating units go to network select generators and click on bus bar number three so the generating power is 500 and the reactive power is uh, 10 megawatt so go to display and permission select down then press ok so this is my generating station g1 uh, after that we need to uh, add generating station g2 just go to network click on generators and uh, click bus bar number four uh, provide the parameters of generating uh, station number two so 510 megawatts and megawatt respectively and tick on down then click OK so this is my generator uh, generating station number two after that go to uh, generator uh, click on bus number two so again we are having the same generating units so go to display and permission tick down and click OK so after that uh, we need to uh, complete our system by adding the transmission lines but uh, before adding the transmission lines uh, the various uh, the length of various transmission lines are also given so we need to uh, provide the each transmission lines uh, with the given lengths so go to power wall simulator uh, first of all uh, we will add transmission line t1 so go to network select transmission line t1 double click now go to calculate impedances uh, select from per distance impedance uh, then select the distance in kilometers uh, click ok uh, yes and then uh, provide the distance of the transmission lines which is 25 kilometer uh, after that uh, we need to uh, provide the R and X so it is 1 plus J 0 0.6 1 plus j 0 0.6 ohms per kilometer so 1 plus j 0 0.6 ohms per kilometer uh, after that click ok now this is my uh, transmission line t1 after that add the transmission line t2 so
go to network, uh, click transmission line, uh, add it from bus number three, uh, bus number three to bus number four. Uh, select calculate impedance from per distance impedances. Uh, then select the distance in kilometers and the length of transmission line T2 is uh, 20 kilometers so uh, and then the uh, uh, impedance is 1 plus J 0.7 so 1 plus J 0.7 ohms per kilometer click OK again OK so two of my transmission lines have been added in the system so after that Uh, we need to add the transmission lines connecting the bus number 4 and bus number 2. So again go to transmission line. Since the uh, distance of the transmission line is uh, uh, 12 kilometers. So select kilometers. Click OK. Then 12 kilometers. And the impedance is uh, 1 plus J 0.8. So 1 and 0.8 respectively. Click OK. Again OK. Uh, after that, we need to add uh, the last transmission lines which connects the bus number 2 and bus number 1. So go to network transmission line. Just uh, click uh, on the bus number 2 and then uh, select uh, from uh, per distance impedance so select kilometers yes then the distance is 18 kilometers so uh, the value of r is 0 0.9 and the value of x is uh, 0 0.6 so click ok again ok and now our transmission system has been completed but uh, there is still one thing remaining that is the MVA rating of transmission lines so go to each transmission line and configure the MVA rating as 100 MVA so click on total power in MVA then uh, always show value and 100% MVA rating is 100 so sorry 200 the MVA rating of each transmission line is 200 so click OK and select the remaining So as you can see that our transmission system has been completed. Now we need to run our transmission system and see the various parameters uh, of this uh, system. So for that uh, put the system in the run mode, go to tools and just OK. So as you can see that the transmission line T2 and T3 has been overloaded because the capacity uh, has been uh, exceeded the uh, MVA capacity of this. So again run the system and go to model explorer. So as you can see that this is uh, our uh, these are our bus bars. The values of uh, the different bus bars are given. And we can see various parameters of uh, uh, this uh, uh, transmission system by using various tools uh, such as uh, we can see the uh, generators, uh, the values of the generators. So these are my values of generators and so on. So, as we saw that uh, 
by using the uh, various tools in the power wall simulator uh, we can uh, uh, observe the various parameters of the transmission system that's all about uh, the four bus bar network in the upcoming video we will see the simulations of five bus bar network so that's all about the today's video uh, stay tuned for my upcoming videos allah peace